Now you can see they did the same thing on this side. You can see how they kind of rounded that tip over. So just going to take a little bit of extra time. You know what we're going to do though? We're going to we're going to get a stone that cuts a little faster. And we'll just skip the Veneve 240 altogether. Go straight from this 320 grit. This has got some rust on it. I have to do a better job drying it off, I guess, when I'm done. Or maybe put some oil on it. Hmm. Never seen it do that before. Must have put it up wet. All right. So now this should, should get us where we want to be relatively quickly. I don't want to waste any steel. I don't want to lose that thin geometry at the edge. But I do want to fix that tip and bring it back to being correct. Yeah, now we're getting somewhere. Amazing how much faster a diamond plate cuts versus a... Uh, one of the Veneve stones. The Veneve stones are great, don't get me wrong, but they really don't cut very quickly. Almost there now, so you guys can check that out. Looking pretty good. We'll switch back over to the other side for a second. Like I said, I don't want to waste too much steel, but I do want to fix that. You know, you can kind of add more pressure where you want to add pressure. Like I'm doing, you might slightly change the overall geometry of the edge, uh, the shape of it. But, you know, I want to cut a little bit more steel off the end of the blade and keep it as thin as I can up here. Whether I make that curve a little more extreme or not is okay with me, but I don't want to make this a whole lot thicker behind the edge back here. So I'm focusing more attention on the tip, more pressure, just to bring that back in. Sort of the same way I would if I was... Um, repairing a broken tip like this. We're almost there. A couple more passes. See, I think we might be there on this side for the most part. Let's switch back over. Ooh, we got a big burr up there now. That thing is huge. We cut it off of there. Whoa, don't do that with a tip that thin. Shoo wee. Break it off. That could have been tragic. All right. Now I got a big burr on this side, so let's come back and. Trade it back and forth a little bit. Try to get rid of it before we move on. Oh yeah. Much better. All right, so let's check this out. See how it looks. That looks pretty good. Check out the other side. Still looking pretty good. Thickened it up a little bit behind the edge, but not much. Now we got a nice, crisp, woo, sticky apex all the way through. No burr, or very minimal burr, if any. So I think we'll be okay to switch over. 
spread this back out. Rinse this off. And down to my favorite stone. And we may stop right here just in the... Uh, just to save some time in the interest of time. Oh wow, stuff cuts quickly, very easily. I don't know how well it holds an edge, but it really sharpens like a dream on these Beneve stones. So you can see, I mean, it's pretty much already there. Scratch pattern's already refined. Burr is created. So I can definitely <laughs> dig that, especially if it if it really does perform very well in terms of its edge retention, then that's awesome. I mean There's something to be said for a steel that can be cut away easily and also holds an edge very well. I mean that's sort of the dream right there. Check out this side. Getting there. These stones give very good feedback. So I can tell when I'm cutting into the apex at the very end of the edge or if I'm not, just based on how it feels and sounds. Uh, so I definitely appreciate that about these stones. Come back, trade the burr back and forth a little bit. Oh, there went a burr. You see that? I don't know if you guys can see it or not. Or it was a hair or something else, but it looked like the bird come off. Or that part, at least. Looks like I didn't get right there all the way. There's a little spot right there at the uh, next to the finger chewel that looks like I didn't get very well. That can happen sometimes with a blade that's got this much belly, though. If you're not paying attention. Looking at the knife through a camera lens or on the phone screen. Oh, yeah, we got some burrs on there. that off Ooh, about stab myself Beautiful. I think that might be it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful edge. All right, let's drop it and call it, and we'll see what kind of edge we got at the end here. So this is the uh, the four micron. 
Jindy compound on this side, basswood. Do a few passes on this side. Make sure we get rid of any burr that might be left over. I think that's probably good for this steel. All right. All right, wipe that off. And then let's do the, uh, the one micron. That out of time again so let me hurry up see what kind of yet see what kind of edge we've got off of this before I run out we got about a minute left okay just a couple more we could definitely take the polish up higher on this but just for the sake of time right now we'll go with this all right, so I did run out of time, and uh, the knife actually wouldn't catch on the hair when I tried to whittle one, so I went back to the one micron strop, focused in a little more on the apex, because it, it's kind of hard to strop under the camera like that, and uh, usually it turns out all right, but that time it didn't, and I just went back to the strop and hit it a few more times, focusing in on the apex, and got a pretty decent result. So... My initial impressions of this are that it's very easy to sharpen. It it cuts the steel away very quickly in comparison to some other steels. It takes a really good looking polish and takes a really good edge. And it actually seemed to have a, a good little bit of aggression at the end of the sharpening. The, the apex still feels fairly sticky and aggressive, which I'm pretty happy with. And uh, here's it against another hair. You guys can see absolutely hair whittling sharp off the one micron strop. And definitely if if this steel proves to, to have the edge retention that people purport it to have, then I think it's an excellent budget steel, especially on a knife this inexpensive. So let me know what you guys think of the 9CR if you've used it before. Interested to hear other people's thoughts on what they think about sharpening it and using it. And thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.